Please stand for the pledge. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Hey, well, Satch, my name is Ezra Heckman, and I'm your student body president. And my name is Cameron Cox, one of your 7th grade reps. Spanish Club has been cancelled for this month. It will resume in February. Future Problem Solvers, or FPS, need to meet this Thursday. Make sure you have your Chromebooks with you. We are a week behind on doing the qualifying scenario, so we need to meet and be ready. Please check the lost and found table outside the office. These items will be taken away at the end of the month. These, there are still many students who have not returned their basketball uniforms. Please remember to return them to your coaches this week. Please remind your parents that if you are absent, they need to notify the school by submitting it on the school's website under attendance tab or by email. Please do not call the school to report an absence. In the technology classes, the first semester had a great finishing by building, finished by building 3D printed bridges. Jessica Zhang Air and Adrian Sita both did amazing jobs building their bridges that held over 400 grams per ounce. But Rex Wilkinson was the granddaddy of all of them. He engineered a bridge that held 572 grams per ounce. He was the most efficient engineer in all classes. Congratulations to Rex. Remember to bring in money next week for the Super Bowl of Caring. We'll have fun lunchtime activities. The 2022 Spelling Bee is next Wednesday, February 2nd, from noon to about 3 p.m. The spelling lists are available now in the front office. The closing date to get to the spelling list is this Thursday, the 27th. Um, and now for Warrior Wednesday. Um, today we'd like to highlight Dallin Huber. According to our sources, Dallin is always polite and works hard in class. He always greets his teacher and always completes his work. When at times he's overloaded with work, he'll communicate with the teacher and get it done. Dallin is a great example of excellence. Dallin, so we can all get to know you a little better, tell us three interesting facts about yourself. Well, um, I enjoy running cross country and I'm just on the cross country team and planning to do track and field. Um, I like to write stories. And I also, um, I, enjoy, I enjoy hanging out with my friends and with my family. Thanks, Dallin, for being such a great example of the Warrior Way. And now for a College of the Month video. I've always wondered what was out there. Since I was little, I thought about discovering life on other planets, but that seemed so impossible. I didn't think that could be me. When I got to ASU, I met Professor Lindy. She's one of the first women to ever lead a NASA deep space mission. I got to actually meet somebody that was doing the type of work that I thought was inspiring to me. It was pretty cool. Without ASU, I don't even know if I would have applied for the internships at NASA. But then, Lindy told me to go for it. So I did, and I got in. I actually get to work on a rover that's going to Mars. I have to pinch myself when I think about the things that I get to do right now. ASU really did help me to go after my dreams. to announce the students of the month for the month of January. Our first student of the month is sixth grader Nidhi Nambudrapad. Nidhi, come on down. Um, Nidhi was nominated by her teachers for being a fantastic writer, someone who is kind, and leads by example. So Nidhi, um, what is your favorite class at school? Um, I like math because it's hard to solve these problems. Awesome, that's great. Well, I, um, congratulations on being student of the month. I hope you have a great time. Okay, our uh, second sixth grade student of the month is Ethan Rowe. Ethan was nominated by his teachers for, for being accountable with schoolwork and 
because Ethan always takes extra time to help out uh, with class within his classrooms. So Ethan, what's your favorite out of school activity? Uh, I like to do football and basketball, and I like hanging out friends and just do quick Am Amazing. Well, congratulations, and we're so excited that you're student of the month. Okay, our next student of the month is seventh grader Vika Goncharov. Vika, come on down. Vika was, um, was nominated by her teachers for being respectful, creative, and friendly. So Vika, um, what's your favorite out of school activity? I like to hang out with friends. Okay, great. Well, congratulations and um, have fun at Cafe Rio. Okay, our next uh, student of the month is seventh grader James Lassen. So James, come on down. James was nominated by his teachers because he always volunteers to help and he loves to participate. So James, um, what's your favorite class at school? Um, my favorite class at school is probably math because Mr. Peterson was real fun. Yeah, Mr. Peterson's awesome. Okay, congratulations. And our uh, next student of the month is eighth grader Anahita Gafari. Um, Anahita was nominated for being kind and respectful and a great artist who always helps others and who's learning her third language. So. Um, Anahita, what is your favorite out of school activity? Um, my favorite out of school activity is volleyball and with my friends. Very cool. Okay, thank you. And our last student of the month is Aiden Wynn, who is not here, but his teachers nominated him for being detail oriented, motivating others around him, and having a strong work ethic. So, congratulations to all the students of the month, and see you next month. Bye. And now it's time for Weather Wednesday. Hello Wasatch, my name is Nick Sharma, your weather person for today. Today's forecast is a bit gloomy. Back to you. Thanks for being here. Have a wonderful Wednesday, Wasatch.